fellow St. Lucians, our country continues to battle this deadly wave of COVID-19, which from all indications continues to be fueled by the Delta variant of the virus. Just this week, the Caribbean Public Health Agency reported another nine confirmed cases of the destructive Delta out of samples which were sent weeks earlier, confirming the suspicion of the spread of this more transmissible COVID-19 variant. It is clear that the virus continues to spread throughout our communities, affecting people of all age groups. Sadly, since the start of this wave in the middle of July 2021 to September 26, 2021, we recorded 5,703 cases at an average of 91 cases per day. Most of the cases are in the age group of 25 to 49 years. The majority female, the largest number of cases come from Castries, Gozile, Vefor, and Babuno. During the period of the surge in cases, we note unfortunately 94 COVID-19 deaths with females accounting for most of the deaths. At present, we have 1,539 active cases. We continue to prioritize the immunization program in St. Lucia, and we note an increase in the uptick of vaccines over the last few weeks. A total of 45,245 persons received their first dose of the vaccines and 31,520 individuals the second dose of the vaccines. Both AstraZeneca and Pfizer vaccines have been as administered. It is encouraging to see a steady increase in the number of St. Lucians taking the vaccine over the last few weeks. Additional sites have been established for administering the vaccines and all St. Lucians are encouraged to take the vaccines along with their families. While our health professionals have indicated a slowing of the COVID-19 transmission rate, the number of active cases remains unacceptably high and there is still a great risk of danger to families and our communities if we continue to dismiss the seriousness of the COVID-19 pandemic and its impact on our country. We therefore must continue to be vigilant and keep restrictions in place while we prepare to allow fully vaccinated individuals to benefit from accessing specific approved services. Sisters and brothers, we must think not only of our families, but of the frontline medical and other emergency personnel who put their lives on the line daily to keep law and order, to assist with the transfer of affected people, to care for the sick, and to clean and sanitize the medical institutions. Workers in all sectors are also exposed, and if all of us make a personal commitment to take action and to follow the recommended protocols and to follow the advice of the medical professionals, we will cause the transmission rate to continue to slow and eventually reduce transmission significantly. The new changes to the protocols are as follows. One, operation of businesses. Businesses shall cease operations on Friday, the first day of October 2021 at 7 p.m. to Saturday, the second day of October 2021 at 4 a.m. On Saturday, the second day of October 2021, businesses will close from 7 p.m. to Tuesday, the fifth day of October 2021 at 4 a.m. The curfew or no movement days will extend from Saturday, the second of October from 7 p.m. all day Sunday, all day Monday, up to Tuesday, the 5th of October at 4 a.m. From Tuesday, the 5th of October to Friday, the 8th of October, 2021, businesses will close from 6 p.m. to 4 a.m. each day. 
From Saturday the 9th of October 2021, businesses will close from 3 p.m. to Monday the 11th day of October. Businesses will close from 6 p.m. to 4 a.m. each day from Monday the 11th of October to Friday the 15th of October 2021. Changes in relation to restaurants and food establishments. 1. A restaurant and other food establishments approved by the Ministry of Health and the Ministry of Tourism may provide a dine-in service to persons who are fully vaccinated. Please note that fully vaccinated means that two weeks have passed since a person received a a single dose vaccine such as Johnson & Johnson, B, the second dose in a two-dose series of AstraZeneca, Pfizer, BioNTech, or Moderna, or C, another COVID-19 vaccine approved by the minister on the advice of the chief medical officer. The sale and disposal of intoxicating liquor is, a, is suspended except for A, the sale and manufacture of hand sanitizers, B, the manufacture for sale outside of St. Lucia, C, the sale and disposal by a supermarket, gas station, or wholesaler, if the supermarket, gas station, or wholesaler does not permit a person to consume the intoxicating liquor on the licensed premises. Recreational activities. Recreational activities such as boat rides and water skiing at a certified accommodation provider are suspended during the curfew hours or no movement days. They are suspended on Sunday the 3rd day of October 2021, Monday the 4th day of October 2021, and Sunday the 10th day of October 2021. Faith-based organizations. Faith-based organizations may continue to hold daily or regular religious ceremonies if the physical distancing protocols are adhered to. Special religious rites, including baptisms, weddings, and funerals, are to be held using physical distancing rules with no more than 50 persons in attendance. These changes to the general protocols are intended to bring down the number of persons who may be infected with the COVID-19 virus. I urge all St. Lucians to join with the leaders in their communities and mobilize to get the communities vaccinated. Join in our efforts to get life back to normal in St. Lucia. The protocols will be revised before the 15th of October and new protocols will be announced after the 15th of October, 2021. I thank you.